So before I head out, I want to cover something with you all. I want to talk about the cost on this. This, this might shock you a little bit. And you may want to call BS. You can call whatever you want. You can call your mama. I don't care. <laughs> but so uh, I just now left FLS. I got the receipts. They're out in a the truck. But if I wish I had it here. But I'm going to tell this now. So I just bought 200 bags of the Opo Portland, right? 200 bags. We have a, a few still left underneath right here, maybe 25, 30. So uh, 200 bags of the Opo Portland. I bought 200 additional pieces of 12mm. We had 60 still on hand here. I bought a huge roll, full size big roll of tie wire. Um, I bought I don't remember how many sheets of plywood uh, 10 or 12 of the more ordinary plywood not this form board for chopping up on some small things that I don't want to waste all that good form board on so those were like maybe like 680 pesos or something or around 700 per sheet you know save me six eight dollars per sheet if you want to convert it to US dollars versus that black form board for stuff that's just going to get cut up for maybe a one-time cut or something you don't want to waste really expensive board on that so uh bought that plywood and a few other knickknacks on there as well oh bought 200 bags of sahara waterproofing all right so i got all that and a few other knickknacks there well all of that total cost me 80,700 pesos so uh, so there you go that's a lot of materials right a lot of materials it's gonna take a big truck here to bring all that and unload it so that's enough cement you know mix you know cement mix the, the Portland to do all of that pour up there and then we got backups right here already if we go over we got about 30 extra bags sitting right there that we can use if we end up running short during the pour. Probably have more than need anyway, just to be honest. So I'll stop and use my calculator real quick. So that equals 1717 US dollars. All right, so there we are, 1717 US dollars. Now, if you add the steel that I already have here that we're gonna use up there, and you add the uh, Portland I already have here, if you added that into that, let's just say maybe you're going to hit a little bit more like uh, around 2,000, 2,100. Let's just say maybe 2,100, okay? So um, $2,100 right there. In fact, I'll be even more liberal and let's just say 22, just in case I'm shorting it somewhere, all right? 22. So what's missing? The sand and the stone. So let me total that up for you. So that was uh, three trucks of stone, and they were um, eight cubic trucks, and it was a thousand per cubic, if, if Mel and I had that right. So that was eight thousand per truck, three trucks, that was 24,000 pesos. And then the sand was 18,000 pesos for also three trucks, eight cubic. So now let's add that up. That would have been about $894 for all of that stone and all of that sand, $894. I believe it was like 42,000 pesos. Going with current exchange rate, okay? So let's add those two together now. We got the 894 and let's just round that up to 900. And then we had, let's say the 2400. So there you go, what, $3,300, right? all the materials to pour that slab including from the top of the walls there's a little bit of the top of the wall left that's going to tie in to the beams and then all of the floor and pouring a nice thick floor craft there so now here we are to the labor portion of it so a whole bunch of extra people are going to work that day that over here from the neighboring compound the uh area over here this neighborhood um, everybody's gonna pitch in so we got our normal guys here working and then we got additional labor coming in so that day there'll be 
22 people working, around about 22, 23 people working to do the pour that day up there. So we're going to pay them an above average rate because it's going to be some hard work. So we're going to add quite a bit over what their normal rate is. And uh, so for that day, we're talking around, if you convert it into U.S. dollars, around 350 U.S. dollars for that day. Um, and that's giving them quite a bit more than they would normally make working at a job somewhere um, per day. That's, that's giving them a bonus on top of it. And I, I don't create the rates here in the Philippines. The rates are created by the Philippines. I'm not paying United States rates to guys here. I'm already paying as good if not better than anybody around. So, uh, and they get benefits from me too, just like they got stuff already this morning. 22, 23 people working that day. And we're gonna give them, um, a general labor makes how much normal per day, 400? So let's just say that I gave them 550 that day instead of 400. And then we take in all these additional people besides my workers and they're all getting, let's just average it out to 550. A few of them are gonna get a little bit more. Well, I did the exact math on it for the masoons are getting paid more. And with all of that, it's gonna put us around $350. If I wanna go ahead and give them a little bit more bonus on top of that, if they do a really good job, Let's say it went all the way to 400 or something, 400 US dollars. For that day of the poor, 400 US dollars. So uh, there, there we are right there. Add that up, add up that materials and add up that labor for that whole entire floor poured up there. All of that. That is not expensive. That is not. That does not make this high and home. You're talking about one of the most vital sections of the house, man. You know, the core in the middle of it. And that's all it's costing me here to do that as far as that. Now, I mean, that ain't including form wood and all that stuff. We're talking about getting the actual concrete in place. All that form wood gets used again and again as the build continues. So pouring in that main core through the middle of the house if you said that it cost if you just threw in all kinds of other stuff maybe don't think of and say it cost you four grand or whatever to um, to pour all that just think about that that is cheap that's cheap you ain't gonna get nothing like that in the u.s for that price in the u.s that section right there would probably be twelve fourteen thousand dollars or more or more and if we had hired transit mix trucks, it, it was gonna triple our cost. It was gonna triple it. Uh, we priced it around. And we don't know what they're getting because we was told that they may cheat you until you, you know, they're giving you, just for instance, 4,000 PSI, you might get some that's 2,000 PSI. They may tell you they're putting waterproofing in there and they put just a little bit in there. You have no way to know what they truly did. But here, we can control that. We know exactly how much Sahara waterproofing we put in our concrete. We know exactly what our mix is, and which is a three, two, one. We're gonna do a three, two, one. And uh, that that's a strong mix here in the Philippines. So, uh, so there you have it. We're gonna get a super strong slab and we're going to put community to work that they need to work. They need to work. And at the same time, we're gonna spend money for food and drinks. We already been buying up stuff for it to, uh, to feed them up good that day, to keep their thirst quenched, to let people rotate out and rest for a while while others are working. And this community of people over here, they're way more happy to get that money and help out their families than that big conglomerate that owns all of those transit mix trucks and uh, making the big bucks you know what i'm saying this is not about speed this is not about all of that this is about helping people here in my community on this island as we build hiring local buying local supporting local this is a community effort this is they're going to remember and be a part of this house that bonds the community this home 
You say, you know what? I helped pour that floor. I helped build that house. I did this that day. And they have a pride in that. The trucks show up and pump all that. They have no connection to that house. This, they have a connection to it. They're going to always remember that they were a part of it. So think about that. Think about that. It's not always about me, 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 fast, 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 and paying big corporations when they've already got all they need probably anyway with the contracts going on here with the bill, bill, bill program. So I just want to explain it to you. I never talk about money on this channel, but uh, I thought for this I would since so many people think that it's costing so much money to build this house.